But how do I end up at these crazy criminal events? <laughs> Because every car enthusiast must be a drug dealer, right? <laughs> oh, they're cracking down on us drug dealers. <sighs> Excuse me, Red Corvette son, are you of car meat age? Are you, you're after 76, are you allowed to be here? Are you, we're watching you, I'm gonna follow you, uh, I'm gonna violate your privacy, possible male mental, track the cell phone, because nobody would ever come to an event like this with a newer Corvette, because look at this, see? It's Norma Green and it's pre-76, so, so why would he be here? I gotta find out, I gotta find out why he's here, I gotta find out, I need to know, I need to know, I gotta find out, he needs to tell me, if he doesn't tell me, I'm gonna throw him in jail, I'm gonna lock him away, I'm gonna launch worldwide campaigns to kill him because he's a violent paranoid schizo and suffers from compulsive disorders for bringing newer cars to this older car event because it's secretly, there's a secret rule, there's a secret rule that I just grabbed out of the air. There's a secret rule that I just grabbed out of the air and now I gotta enforce it. Now I gotta enforce it. Uh, it's up to me to enforce it and make it happen and if they do not comply, they're banned from the entire planet Earth. The entire planet Earth. Earth. Alright, so. Uh, once again, I break in the Cardinal Kevin Perlman secret rules of bringing my cars to car shows and having fun. I'm committing the fun crime. So I'm here, I'm here. What do you call this? This is the Parks and Recreation. I don't know. Okay, and car show. But I just made a new friend here. I want everyone to meet my new friend. Oh. That's my hand. Hi, friend. Does he have a name? Yes, Mater. Tell me. Oh, he's Mater, like um, uh, the, the movie Cars. Yeah. Wait, it's not Toe the same. Tow Mater. Yeah, is, is it the same truck? All you have to do is you have to say hi to him. Hi, Mater. Mater, have you met Pepe? Hello. Pepe's green. My name's Mater. Oh, shit. You don't like Tom Mater <laughs> without <laughs> you, Tom? Thanks for coming awesome. out to the car show. Why don't you come on up and say hello? You can sit in the seat and have your mom and dad take a picture if you like. <laughs> Mater, what you got in you? You got an Ollie intake? Is that a big block? No, that's an LS valve cover. That's like an LS1. It's a Vortex. Oh, Vortex. Mater. Did you meet Pepe? The Green Eclipse? Mater meets Pepe. Is Mater a male or female? Uh, Mater is a male. Well, I think Pepe might be asexual, so I'm not sure. So, you, know, you guys might get along there. Yeah, they're just waiting for its pronoun to figure out what about. Okay, so I'm frolicking around the illegal criminals and drug dealers, because anyone that has a modified or cool car is a criminal or drug dealer. But right now... This person is just, I mean, incarcerated for life here, okay? I mean, they have stolen from Pink Floyd. They have stolen, they have stolen from the Pink Floyd album here. Um, I was gonna head down there and check on the amount of space. And that is all. That is all. News to the beginning or end, we have fire trucks and obviously these LAPD officers are drug dealers because why would they be around modified cars and classic cars and hot rod cars? I mean, they need to be watched. Possible mail mantle, track cell phone. And um, you see 
you see the problem with everything here and that's important because in life you're supposed to micro analyze and throw judgments and execute uh, good decent people okay so um, and look this guy's taking pictures he's committing the the taking He's not just committing the you took a picture crime. He's taking a 360 degree VR picture. So that's like, that's like incarcerated for life times a thousand. Like Officer Toro's death threats if you ever take a picture of a person not exercise the law. And, and it's video, so that's 30 grams per second, right? I mean, it's, it's a lifetime sentence for each picture. That's 30 grams per second. All right. So, because it's Operation Gratitude, saying thank you, saying thank you to all who serve. You're very welcome. What am I serving? I don't know, because I was born into worldwide insanity, and Kevin's kind is not allowed to coexist with humanity, which is unconstitutional, so I'm serving in the say no to imperfection. Wait, say, sorry, say yes to imperfection. Say yes to imperfection. Go against what's been done in my life with worldwide groups since five years old for lack of eyebrow hair and say yes to imperfection. Say yes to imperfection. Yes to there you go. See, she said, see, see, it's so easy. It's so easy. Okay, yes to imperfection. Actually, out of here. Every person here is a drug dealer. Everyone. All of them. <laughs> any any person that owns or modifies a cool car or a hot rod is a drug dealer. That's what I've been told. So it's, it's got to be true, right? <laughs> All right. So and then this this is the ultimate crime. It's Route 66. You see it? You see, do you see the felony foreplay? The, the crimes of all crimes here is this sign. And then maybe neon, I think maybe neon is, neon is toxic to your skin so people shouldn't be around neon. All right, so say no. Wait, yeah. say yes to imperfection. Say yes to imperfection. Okay, so that's the new that's the new the slogan. Say okay. yes to imperfection. Team Evo, uh, Mitsubishi, yeah? Wait. Live auction. Live auction. And say yes to imperfection. Yes to imperfection. <laughs> City of Los Angeles Department Recreational Parks. Parks. Well, I'm parking at the park because the Constitution of the United States says that the people do not own the park. The government owns the park, and I'm parking at the park and perusing the park. And we have a lot of angry people, I'm sure, today for my kind being at a public park and bringing my cars and paying money to put the cars into the events of a public park. But what if I just wanted to go to the park and relax with some of those death threats? Like, no relaxing for you, Nick. Okay, so, um, so everything's a problem in Kevin Perlman's life, and that's why I say, say no to imperfection. Say no to imperfection. Wait, say yes to imperfection. That's confusing. Say yes to say imperfection. Yes. You say yes. say yes. That's confusing for some reason. Say yes, yes. to, with a piece. Wait, can I, can I video? Sure. Say yes. Say yes. Oh, I like, yeah, that's right. Like, um, say yes. There you go. <laughs> Wait, which one's yours? Oh, 56 Chevy? 56 Chevy, orange and white. You're a drug dealer? Yes. He's a drug dealer too. See, we're, we're all drug dealers 
any person that owns or modifies a cool car or high rod is a drug dealer. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that would be a crime. No, only if it's a cheat day. May I? Sure, help yourself. That's why it's Can open. I have all of them? <laughs> I want the heart. The go. heart. I'm in love. I'm in love with you and you and maybe you tonight. <laughs> and the sugar. The sugar. And then we have our mobster pinstripe uh, charger. What the hell is it? No, lucid. <laughs> you come to my car show, you show me some respect. So he's obviously a drug dealer too. All right, so we're all we're all drug dealers. Uh oh, we have some competition for Anthony. Anthony's gonna be really mad. Anthony, it's like his evil twin. It's Anthony's evil twin. Anthony's evil twin. Evil Anthony, are you gonna be okay? Are you going to be okay? Are you gonna survive? Ah, we'll survive. All right, so, so we got an evil, an evil amp Anthony duplicate all right so um and then <sighs> excuse me son that is illegal hood clearances and are you a blower are you a blower Okay, you are old B and M. These guys are hard to find, actually. Uh, the old B and M blower. All right, so that is that. I am committing another crime. I am at a public park with my car. I paid to put my evil car, and I'm a drug dealer because any person that likes cars is a drug dealer. And it's even worse when you have no facial, when you have no eyebrows. Oh, when you have no eyebrows. So say yes to imperfection. That is for some reason confusing. Say yes to imperfection. I'm gonna have to train my mind on that one. And once again, we have the illegal, illegal camera here taking photos. And Officer Toro states, if you take a picture of a person, I will exercise the law in my own way for getting into studio photography with Aubrey Fisher um, and with my family. And then obviously it starts in 1996 with Mike Wexler threats for taking, indirect friendly threats for taking uh, studio photographer or photography class, film photography class 1996, Professor Nick, University of Colorado. All right, that is all times two. And finally, because I need to have my vocal cords ripped out for speaking out about what's been done in my life, I can't do it with one hand, but someone else I'm sure will do it for me. Uh, probably for you to charge worldwide since five years old for lack of eyebrow hairs. Well, we almost missed the Marsmobile, the potato. Potato. We have made her in the potato. The potato. Potatoes. Say yes to imperfection. Thank you. No, thank you. And if it's an American flag on it, I better speak out about what's been done to my life. Or it's not American, it's communist. Well, what do we have here? City of Los Angeles Department of Recreational Parks. That's where I ended up that I'm told I'm not allowed at by worldwide groups for no reason other than the death threats no relaxing for you and they're no relaxing for you nigger 
lane, which no one magically thinks is wrong. So say yes to imperfection because this is not about anything but a five-year-old. Okay, so because they're crazy, neurotic, psychotic, ratcheters with psychology degrees. All right, so, um, and also say, don't only say hey, say, wait, don't only say thank you, say hey. So say hey. Like that hick, sicko Heather, I think that was where that came from, that, that sicko redhead following me to coffee shops from Yankee Doodles, mad at me. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm heading into the inner sanctum here um, of the public park. Now, I've been told that my kind is not allowed at any public park worldwide or restaurant or gas station or coffee shop or pool hall or college or high school or middle school or elementary school because because of a little lack of eyebrow hair here I do not fit the criteria of a human being I am property and right now I'm committing one of these secret rules crimes the 100,000 secret rules against Kevin crimes that are all unconstitutional uh, Officer Charles death threats if you ever take a picture of a person I'll exercise the law in my own way did internal affairs themselves are trying to cover up and technically technically look at all the people oh, look Look at all the people in the frame here that I'm already committing crimes over. Um, and then if I go this way, uh, I'm committing crimes against all these people. Officer Toro, if I ever take a picture, I'll, he'll exercise the law in his own way with LAPD and their worldwide operations or methods to try to force me into mental facilities. Okay, what's it about? Uh, dramatizing the word compulsive or trichotillomania. Because trichotillomania would be classified under OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. So, lucky them, they're looking for dirt to twist and contort to dramatize to the billion to justify their extermination operations. Okay, now, now I'm in, I'm breaking another secret rule. Uh, wait. I'm breaking another secret rule. Uh, I'm headed out towards the food section here in the middle of the Inner Sanctum, the park. I'm perusing the Inner Sanctum. And hint, hint, you're not allowed to go to any public park worldwide or random worldwide groups. They're going to keep calling the cops saying you did this or that to them. Um, why? Well, because your kind is not allowed to go to public parks or anywhere else, any other worldwide public place, for lack of a little eyebrow hair. Also, another crime I'm committing, as I've committed about 5,000 secret rules today, uh, from racists and bigots, and a lot of them with LAPD uniforms, is rule number one, I'm not allowed to buy hats, or shirts, or pants, or anything else. Rule number two, it's a West Coast it's a West Coast chopper hat, so if you buy a motorcycle hat, you're a fake or fraud or criminal or violating one of the rules. Or if I go buy food, if I go buy food, then if I buy food, I'm only, I'm only allowed to eat food once per year or I'm an out of control 
food eater. And what is that really about? That that worldwide minute by minute teasing until someone keels over and dies or is forced into a mental facility. Well, there, I guess I gave it away, didn't I? Okay, but guess what? According to Lee Oliver Sean and everyone else worldwide, I'm imagining it on a worldwide conspiracy to commit murder or eradicate, also known as government flag and kill operations to kill five year olds. So, so, it's okay to take turns on someone minute by minute in worldwide groups to try to make them look like a violent, paranoid schizo and lock them away if it's in the form of teasing to death. Okay, so, um, so I violated all sorts of secret rules today that I need to be locked away or incarcerated for life and oh I'd go to the bathroom but I'm violating the next rule that my kind is not allowed to go to the bathroom especially the coffee shops mad at me for going to the bathroom making up lies that I'm masturbating in their bathrooms and about a hundred thousand other lies uh, that's defamation and slander, and when they make up their lies with everyone else, daily, worldwide, it instantly goes worldwide, these fear-mongering lies. Because someone's mad, someone's so mad that I don't have a little eyebrow hair, that it's the end of the world. And... The reality of the situation is, because they're angry 10-year-olds, they have the mentality of an angry 10 year old, afraid of the world. It is not me that these people should be afraid of. They should be afraid of themselves because I've done nothing to anyone but make it to the age of 29. Mike Huntley's death threats, world of paranoia, you're a dead man, and the rest of his death threats. While well, we're using the system against you, LAPD system against you. And why would my kind not allowed to go to any public park or place or car meet? or buy cars, that's another secret rule I violated, the buying car rule, um, and driving rule, even though I'm a very good driver and passed the driving test. So why was LAPD trying to plant a trash bag full of marijuana in my house in 2001, trying to make me look like a criminal? I thought it was about mental illness. It keeps switching. Okay, but either way, that's what it's about. Uh, LAPD and the psychology and government's insecurities and fear over a tiny bit of missing hair. That's the only thing it's about. That's the only thing it's ever been about since five years old. That is why there's a government flag and kill or eradication operation with a planet helping because the psychology community is trying to dig with LAPD and the police and government are trying to dig their way out of the hole they dug for themselves by launching worldwide campaigns to kill five-year-old for no reason, other than their fear and insecurity. And then finally, the final note I, the final rule I violated was Jay Leno showed up and I didn't take his picture or I didn't say hi. So I'm sure there's some kind of violation rule in that. Because I know that he probably doesn't want to talk to the guy being hunted by a planetary extermination operation. But either way, uh, it's irrelevant because I'm sure if I did talk to him, I'm sure there'd be some kind of provoky type thing or whatever. But either way, it's it's... I'm sort of boasting that drama because there's already probably an angle, especially with the Bob Boy, Bob's Big Boy classic groups. Um, and we did have someone hinting earlier that I'm a narcissist or something, so usually these things are, are manipulations to try to push me into a situation where people lash out in anger and rage at me. But either way, I must suffer from the world of paranoia. 
is is the crime I didn't take a picture like hey if I did take a picture would they say you committed the take a picture crime and if I didn't take a picture they'd say you're a narcissist but you know what I don't have the fucking time or energy for any of the bullshit uh, on this this way or that way until people start admitting that I'm known worldwide and what's been done to my life that's the point where people can all be amicable towards me and not try to bait me in the situations or set me up or frame me or push me into situations or call the police every time I go somewhere saying I've done something to them on almost every place worldwide since five years old. Okay, Kelly Hatch in 91, Eric Christensen 92 with Sherry Christensen with San Diego PD. Uh, the redhead working with my brother. Um, the gay guy, I didn't sleep with him. The redhead working with my brother, uh, Skylar, Stephanie. Um, uh, who else? There's so many. There's so many. Um, the redhead following me from Yankee Doodles to, to, pool, to Starbucks, trying to say I'm stalking her. Shanna Bryan Seva at my father's office following me to Starbucks, saying I'm stalking her, doing something wrong. Okay. And now, Kevin, you're paranoid because you didn't talk to Jay Leno. It will probably be some kind of thing. Okay, but Jay Leno can come up and say you're Kevin Perlman and let's get you on the air and talk about what's been done in your life. Okay, but either way, either way, um, I have now broken a plethora of laws or secret rules, not laws, secret rules. And I'm going to walk back to Pet Bay uh, where people in green and black seem to be gravitating towards the car. And some girls saying something like copy that, trying to jo be jokey and friendly, but the copycat tactics aren't of jokey nature, right? We're gonna copycat you to death until you're dead and gone because, well, they'll make something up to justify what they're doing, right? Okay, because, because of what it's really about, that they're trying to cover up that they're trying to hide. Their insecurity and hate and rage and fear of a little bit of eyebrow hair with psychological labeling called trichotillomania that <laughs> will not tolerate with my family on any level. That's why I'm not classified as a human being. There are no constitutional rights or protections and I'm treated like a slave. Um, or a Jew being forced into a concentration camp uh, by Nazis. Okay, so um, so once again, I committed about 50 crimes, and the biggest crime is I have an opinion about these worldwide eradication operations, um, and that upsets them, that I have something to say about what they are doing and have done since I was five years old, nonstop, minute by minute. It never ever stops until they get what they want. Like an angry five-year-old uh, having the ultimate worldwide Adolf Hitler tantrum. And I believe right here we have some reckless police helicopter flying. So, you know, he's banned from breathing for the rest of his life like Kevin Merlin. Oh. I've just commanded the joke, sarcastic joke, imaginary rule crime. So remember, uh, say yes to imperfection. And stop trying to cover up what a planet of sickos has done to my life, minute by minute, and throwing me in jail, and throwing false convictions on me, and things like that because the LAPD can't deal with their own guilt for destroying my life and launching worldwide sickos hunting me uh, since five years old with these government flight and kill or eradication operations over trivial imperfection.
And since I think I'm Jay Leno, or maybe I'm stalking Jay Leno, right? Um, and I believe these are Mitsubishis as well. I will end it here. I believe these are Mitsubishis. If I could push the button. I believe that these are Mitsubishis as well here. All right. So anyways, um, once again, conclusion, this is today's crime, paying to put my car in a car show and being semi-social or trying to with angry people worldwide. Um, they're trying to cover up these worldwide extermination or eradication operations. Okay, and finally, just sort of give you, enlighten you on what I have to deal with, with almost every stranger worldwide. Uh, one kid came up to the eclipse here and he said, um, uh, first he said, is that Paul Walker's car? I get that a lot because of Fast and Furious, but he's really sort of hinting about Paul Walker. Um, and it's funny because the only thing similar from my car to the Fast and Furious car is some kind of sort of similarities on the front grille. The tar car is entirely different. But the kid then says, because he's obviously trying to goad me into a situation, um, you're an attention person. And I'm sort of laughing like... He said, you need attention, you're an attention person. And I was laughing like, yeah, see? I guess we are all attention people. But I did say, I did say, I don't need attention. I need an LS7. Um, but however, what am I getting at here? Okay, I'm getting at the, the. I'm getting at that is a worldwide defaming statement that Kevin needs attention, so we don't want him here or anywhere else worldwide. Well, everyone needs some sort of attention. That's why people date women and marry them, or vice versa. Okay, people don't live in isolation in the jungle hunting and gathering. That's the point. That it's not really about attention. It's about lack of hair and we hate you and we're going to keep provoking you. But more importantly, example <laughs> says nothing's going on out of the norm. How am I known worldwide? 2001, Mike Huntley, world of paranoia. Now let's let's get to the, the original question in 2001. What's going on? Sorry, can I, I give you one of these? Sure. It's for the Armed Forces Day car show next month. Oh, great. Where is it? It's in Simi Valley. Oh, okay. And on the back, we'll have bins to, co to collect donations for them to send out as care packages. Okay, great. Uh, eclipses are welcome? Anything. Anything. Everything and anything. It's about the truth. Okay, Corvettes oh. and trucks? Everything. Great. Thank you. Um, and um, everything. I like that. Okay. So the point here I made, what is the point I'm making? 2001, Mike, what's going on? World of paranoia. I've given you enough rope to hang yourself with. We're using LAPD system against you. You're a fucking dead man. You don't ask questions. You're a slave. I'm going to whip you to death because you asked me a question about what we've been doing in your life since five years old. Okay, now a random kid walks up. I, this is almost every human entity. So when that girl said anything and everything just now, that was a Brittany Henderson line. Okay, we were doing a video dialogue and she says anything and everything and what's the point of making if if she can watch the Brittany Henderson videos and that kids there is told that I supposedly need attention so I'm not allowed anywhere right there's worldwide information going out on a propaganda channel minute by minute instantly <laughs> and worldwide groups keep telling me isn't going on so example if i asked that girl right now how she knew me knew of me she would say i don't know you 
World of Paranoia. Why would she not admit that she's watching my YouTubes or my media or going to my website and then refusal to admit that I know of you? Okay? It's I know you, I don't know you. Okay? It's World of Paranoia. And that's by design. That's the point. But nothing's going on. Okay. So... There's a point where people have to admit they know of you. And not not the ones that are lying, saying you know what you did and we need to lock you away or give us worse false confessions. But tell me why I'm known worldwide. And from the beginning, the very beginning, at five years old. Because I was known worldwide in 1994 when my brother wanted me to see the internet so badly, or that's where it starts. In 2001, World of Paranoia. So, LAPD does not want that coming out. They want the attacks. And then say Kevin's too sensitive. And the attacks, the real attacks, are the in nature of the schizophrenia tactics. Like, two white cars, two purple cars, two green cars, two green Jeep Cherokees, two black Dodges, mimic verbal mimic tactics of things I say whether I post them on the internet or talk to that person right there a um, hundred thousand times a day by a planet and then go you're imagining it and you're too sensitive so that is what LAPD is trying to cover up why because we do they do not feel that someone with lack of hair right here they feel that I'm dangerous because of their fear of imperfection. So they can't have me roaming the earth because of their fear or their guilt. Okay, so once again, um, say yes to imperfection. Or, oh, and by the way, when that earlier when the guy did this, I did that on a post like a few weeks ago. But would he admit that he watched the post? No, he won't say, I don't know you, right? Okay, so that's the point. Why is everything orchestrated on a planetary scale in the form of schizophrenia or idea of references or hints or guilts or seed planting or manipulations or setups or frame jobs? Why is nothing normal? Why, why am I not allowed to have a normal life and say, how are you getting this information? Well, we're not following your accounts, but we're spying on your accounts. Or better yet, your data is being offloaded somewhere else to a central location. For the purpose of what? Because there's premeditation behind everything. And if there's premeditation, it's being, being done for ill intent to aggravate someone. Try to, to, to aggravate or attack and make it look like teases or like it's normal in very subtle forms. Okay? Um, anyways, on that note, say yes to imperfection because that is what this is really about. It's about hate and fear and methods of worldwide mobs to eradicate a five-year-old Jew with psychological labeling based on a trichotillomania label and making things that are so infinitesimal the end of the world and destroying my life, okay? But they don't want to admit they've done anything. They want to try to cover it up and say, I'm making a planet of strangers hunt me as I find out 2001 World of Paranoia. Mike Conley, just one of many Mike Conley statements. Or the angry voice, have a good life now. Or when he's when he's singing World of Paranoia, he's dropping papers on my desk how to make people mentally ill and kill them in South Korea. Okay, so you know you if you're a good decent person, you do the math. And that's why the police don't want me verbalizing the specifics. They're going to lie that, that it's about OCD and Kevin's forcing his cards on people or whatever changing worldwide daily lies they do for 47 years. And then try to throw me in jail and lock me away and cover it all up and say, see, we'll see, Kev, look what Kevin did now and he's a public nuisance and this and that. And I guarantee you, we all know it's the opposite. Yeah, I've done absolutely nothing wrong now, then, or ever on any level. Period.
my fault. That's your fault for having worldwide murder operations or angry mobs trying to bash my skull in minute by minute worldwide and say I'm imagining it and trying to throw me in jail over and over. Uh, which in his daily worldwide minute by minute attacks. Um, that he's trying to dumb down into nothing um, and make me look crazy and hypersensitive. Um, and I believe my statement was um, that's not my fault, it's theirs. If when I came to them 20 years ago, Mike Huntley, World of Paranoia, we're using the LAPD police system against you. You're a dead man, and they would have done something, even though they never were going to do anything then or now, because they started in on me at five years old. Um, trying to make this look like something else when this isn't really a big deal to begin with. Out of hate, rage, insecurity, fear, and that's their doing. With psychological labeling armies that's not my fault I'm the victim we all know it and they can man up and admit it instead of trying to throw me in jail or mental facilities and throw convictions on me with death threats you don't fucking talk or we kill you okay so that's the moral of the story is that LA the reason this is happening is not because of me it's because I found out at 29 what LAPD and the psychology community were doing to lock me away for no reason other than their insecurity and their issues, their fear and insecurity and lack of self-control. And they can't have that truth coming out. And that's why for 23 years now, after 2001, it's been a million times worse, especially with Rody Morales' death threats. It's going to be thousands of times worse for you or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, working with LAPD to try to plant a trash bag full of marijuana in my house, trying to make me look like a drug dealer because they can't live amongst someone with lack of eyebrow hair. That's what it's about, right, Wild Hair? From internet-related chat in the 90s.